why let fullness stop you with the Portland, Oregon Grilled Cheese Taste Fest. This is the Grilled Cheese Grill, and what I got is a choose your own adventure grilled cheese sandwich. I made mine with the new Cascadia gluten-free bread, which is their gluten-free option, pesto, their homemade basil pesto, tomato, and mozzarella. So I'm gonna take my first bite in here in this awesome experience going back like a kid with your grilled cheese in a school bus. Here we go. Mm, whoa. Mm. Definitely better than anything I ever ate on a school bus. It's prime, perfectly grilled, and ready to go. Mm. Delicious. Cheers. One thing I've learned as a culinary curious person is that sometimes you don't want to overdo the flavors. So in this particular sandwich, I have the mozzarella, the homemade basil, and the tomato with the grilled bread. I asked for the gluten-free bread to be a little bit extra grilled just because sometimes you want to bring out those flavors and it takes a little longer with gluten-free bread to do that. It's easy to want to add some meat to this, but I really think what's so nice is the salt from the pesto and the cheese and the mildness of the cream really allows all the flavors to speak. And so uh, my tip is when you don't need meat, don't add it. Because sometimes the meat can actually overpower the other flavors. And even though I'm not vegetarian, the simplicity of this sandwich is just perfect to the taste buds. It looks like a quiet little place here, but really it packs a punch. This gluten-free bakery called Gem is truly what the namesake is. This is a gluten-free cinnamon donut that they heated up in the oven for us. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's dipped in a European um, glaze sauce before they put the cinnamon and sugar, and it's phenomenal. Mm. Sugar, cinnamon, and the subtle taste. Even though it's not fried, it's got more of a cakey experience. It's just flavor combinations are phenomenal. It's really great. Come check it out. So truth be told, my favorite truly of a classic treat is a chocolate chip cookie, and this one is exceptional. It's a perfect amount of the golden brown baking um, on the outside and the soft chewiness inside with perfect chocolate chips. It's so good. Mmm, that's soft. It tastes like your mom's homemade cookies. I don't know if my mom made cookies, but if she did, this is just what it should taste like. They also have a bunch of alternative milk, so if you're a coffee aficionado, you can have hemp, you can have oat, you can have macadamia nut, and um, the gem bakery, loving it. Mm. Yes! This is so amazing, I'm so excited. It's gonna be, it's gonna be what? Yeah, then fine with us. Holy cow, as they say. Should we top it up with almonds at the end, maybe? Just like a couple almonds? I feel like just, why not? I'm what going is that stuff it. called? That's fluff. I'm gonna take off my jacket, just keep it more. No, it'll be too cold. Yes. It's all up here. No, you know what? Almonds are gonna be overkill. No almonds. <clears throat> but I just love you in general. Thank you. Okay, I'm here at Ruby Jewel with my amazing friends, and we're here with our final, before we leave Portland, epic ice cream sandwich. Inside we have a coffee caramel ice cream and vanilla bean, which is extraordinary. I hate when people say that vanilla is um, simple. And we have sprinkles, caramel, and fluff. Should we say hi to our happy, amazing, helpful friends? And gluten-free cookies to max it off. So we're about to dig in. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is really epic. Can't even sleep. Come to Ruby Jewel. This is amazing. Gluten free cookies? This is incredible. Everything's great. Life is perfect. It's all amazing. Thanks. Mm. Amazing.